Hey A10 families, TJ and Allie here, and we wanted to take a quick moment to let you know about some updates in A10 Kids. As you know, we made some changes to our check-in, check-out, and safety procedures this past February, and we wanted to hear your feedback about those changes that were made. So we sent out a survey to hear your thoughts, and we were so encouraged by how many of you felt. So thank you to everyone who submitted responses, because your input helps us as we continue to shape A10 Kids into the best children's ministry it can be. Some of you were curious as to why we added these new safety procedures, and we can assure you that it's not because anything bad happened. We did this because we want it to be proactive and not reactive when it comes to your child's safety. Adding these changes were simply to ensure that. With that said, after having reviewed the results of the survey, as well as speaking with people personally, we recognize that some of the new changes can be tweaked to create an overall better experience while also maintaining a welcome, fun, and safe environment for children and their families. One of the more immediate changes that we will be making is to help bring speed and ease to our check-in system. So from now on, there will be two tablets at the welcome table to kind of help with the congestion. On the left side of the table, you'll see one tablet for self check-in, and there will also be one in front of the welcome team member who would love to greet your kiddos and get them checked in. So feel free to use either option. We'll be making a handful of other changes as well, although they may not be as noticeable up front. Our hope is that those smaller changes will make A10 Kids a better experience for you and your children as you move through the check-in and check-out times, both at the welcome table and also in the classroom. Within that survey, we also asked what kind of resources you would find most valuable. And we're happy to say that we're already putting some of those ideas into practice and working on others that we hope to roll out in the next few months or so. One of the highest rated resources that you all asked for was an A10 Kids monthly parent newsletter. And it's here. In fact, many of you should have received your first one in your inboxes yesterday. In it, you will find information on the current series, as well as details on each week's teaching for Sundays in A10 Kids. In there, you will also find upcoming events for A10 Kids, and we also wanna try and put some helpful resources that we feel would be good to share. If you didn't receive this month's A10 Kids parent newsletter, we've placed a link in the bio of this video and on the email where you receive this video, which will get you added onto our email list. So please take a moment at some time today to click on that. Another resource that many of you said that you wanted was a social media group for parents. Well, we're excited to announce that we've created an A10 Kids parent group on Facebook for use right now. The hope for this group page is to create a space where parents can share resources, ask each other questions from fun activities and places to go with your kids to more difficult questions like, what do I do when my child, you fill in the blank. And like the newsletter, we plan to use this group to post about the different events that are coming up for A10 Kids, as well as any information on upcoming series that we'll be teaching. We hope that this group will be a valuable resource to you and your family. Several of you also mentioned that you like to have a resource page for parents on our website. Because of that, we've begun talking through and designing what that could look like. So stay posted for when that is complete and ready for you to access. Again, these are just a few of the changes that we're working towards with the goal of creating the best space and environment for children and their families to feel welcome and to grow in their relationship with Jesus together. We thank you again for all of those who participated in the survey as your input helps us better understand what parents and kids need today. We also wanna say that we recognize change is not always easy. We respect that and know that it takes time and maybe even some further conversations to help understand the vision of why certain changes take place. So please know that we are here and available to answer any of your questions or concerns that you may have now or in the future when it comes to A10 Kids. You can always email me at tj at area10church.com. And you can email me at ali at area10church.com. Well, that's all we have for now. Have a great rest of your week and we hope to see you guys on Sunday.